Hey guys, welcome back. It's season three. We're going to be building a 2015 Trail Edition 4Runner this year and adding a couple features to the Tacoma as well. So let's get to Haley Toyota and get things lined up. Just put new gears in a Tacoma. Pull out the drive shaft, pull the axles out, take the nuts off the bolts in here, pull the hogs head out, we'll swap all that over to the new gears. We'll be ready to roll it back in the car. All right, so we got gears installed from East Coast Gear Supply. We're getting to the point in the Tacoma where the stock gears just weren't cutting it anymore and I've lost too much power. We've got 285, 75Rs on here this year. They're BF Goodwrench KO2s. So we're putting 488 gears on here. I understand that might be a little bit on the low end, but we're excited about the power exchange that we're gonna get from that. We've put everything together and packaged everything together, but at this point, the, um, the e-locker light's on and we're trying to diagnose where we wait, maybe missed a step or um, what we need to do to fix it here. So we're not done yet, but we're gonna get there. And I'm confident these guys are gonna figure it out. Yeah. So is there a notch on the gear or what? No, right. look at the picture. The only thing is you can't see the shaft, really. The e-locker was locked and the e-locker actuator was unlocked. So it was thinking it was engaged. So it's a quick fix. Quick fix. Ten minute fix. Yeah. We're gonna see what happens. Hopefully it's fixed. We'll take it for a test drive. We'll be good to go. What does that guy do on Gas Monkey Garage again? Get you some of that! Everything going well? So far so good, yeah. We, uh, we got all the logos taken care of. We actually changed a few uh, placements for the sponsor logos. We're going to put them down the side behind the back window. Having your artwork and your idea of exactly what it is that you want. We can meet with them and then once they have a clear idea of what they would like, we can work with them and refine their idea down to one single concept. Actually, that's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. It actually goes to the other door on the other vehicle, but the other door is only like this, you know what I'm saying? Right. I got it drew out where the wheel well is the back of the tailgate is. Run it down there. Some knifles. And that'll give me more to work with on this complex thing. Left. You don't necessarily have to wrap, do a full entire wrap. You can go as far as to doing partials, you can do halves. Uh, you can even just do quarter panels or bumpers. Yeah, they can do however they would like to do. Pretty stoked, man. Yeah. It's the first day of the build of the Forerunner, and we got Tyler putting on the BP 51s right now. And been waiting for this for a few months, and today's the day. This is gonna be sick. Good, good. How was the trip? That was good. Awesome, man. Well, good to have you here. Yeah. like the truck. Yeah, it's a comfortable ride. It's been fun coming down. Awesome, man. Awesome. Well, we look forward to having you here. We're, you know, fixing the 4Runner up, getting it built, and nice to have ARB join us on this venture. We think that we may need a sway bar kit that's supposed to actually come with the package, but we're with ARB right now, and they're making a couple calls just to make sure that we don't need it because it's actually lining up and fitting pretty perfectly, so we'll see how it kind of unfolds here today. So what, what's going to happen is we have to put a spacer in the sway bar. Sway bar okay. So when we do that, we're going to have to drop yeah, this dam because the sway bar is going to Well, touch. you can probably leave these off and do the skid plate without these because this is just for the skid plate that comes on it right there. You can probably okay. just unbolt these. Excited to get out and actually get these things on the road and off-road and give them a shot. I think, I think Gabby, he's behind camera right now, but I think he's, uh, he's thinking the same thing. So 
We're gonna find the closest jump that we can find and get these things to work out. Yeah. <laughs> so the spring's pretty easy to go on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just take the rear end loose, sway bar loose, slides right in. Usually takes two people, but there's a trick to that. So, um, essentially what we're putting on this is an upgraded suspension package as opposed to an actual suspension lift. Yeah, you'll get some suspension lift out of this, but we're enhancing the suspension package so that it can handle the loads of you know, traveling, you know, gravel for miles and miles in a day. So once we get the tires on here, we're gonna jack it back up and then we're gonna put an ARB uh, skid package underneath of it. It's due for something a little beefier and uh, we think the ARB skid plates are gonna work and integrate into the system real nice. to give you guys kind of a look at this bag that Blue Ridge Airline Gear built for us. It's a max track bag and if you've got a tire carrier or a roof rack you can actually mount this system you know to either application. So we've got two clips here. It allows us to flip the top off and then easily pull out our max tracks whenever we need them, right? To give you a kind of a look on the back side of it. This is the harness right here actually holds the Max Trax bag on the back of the on the back of the truck on the back of Tacoma here. So we're prototyping this right now. Who knows by the time we're rolling out with season three this could be in full production. This one works. Taking the forerunner out on a quick spin now, just getting it out of the shop. Just put some skid plates on it. Got the BP51 uh, reservoir shocks on here and uh, BFG KO2s. So we're gonna execute a high speed speed bump test here. <laughs> Take a right. There it is. There it is. Just run the stop sign. <laughs> Just don't run over a baby. <laughs> bump up. Oh, yeah. All right. I didn't hear no clunking. Let's no. see here. Let's see what this does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very solid. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Not climb that snowbank. <laughs> see what this does here. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> that was anticlimactic as hell. <laughs> nice. There we go. Alright, so we're putting white knuckle sliders on the Forerunner here this morning. And pretty straightforward install. There's going to be U bolts that actually come across from the back side of the frame. John there at White Knuckle does a pretty good job of packaging all this stuff up. So if you get a powder coated slider, um, you're gonna get it and it looks like it's gonna come right straight out of the paint shop. So, right, righty tighty lefty loosey. Yeah. Righty tighty lefty loosey. So does that mean you actually turn it to the right or? It means you turn it, when it until it's tight, <laughs> is what you do. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. So we're putting a dual battery system in the Forerunner today too for the fridge and accessories and all that stuff. You guys know that. I don't need to explain that. Everything is coming together pretty smooth. The instructions are very straightforward. Um, actually comes with harnesses that you can you can pigtail together. They're actually made plug and play. So pretty excited about this. It's going to be a pretty clean install. Do you have any particular camera guy? Do you have any particular uh, preference to what that looks like under there? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're doing good. One more ground wire. We'll get her all tucked away and hidden. Put her all back together. And we'll start doing the front. Most exciting part of the day. Cutting hose here. With a tiny little knife. <laughs> so we, we said that, uh, you know, through all of this, you know, for all of Tyler's help, we're going to go to Walmart and buy him a nice knife for, for a thank you present. <laughs> Yeah, sure. There's some fancy, you know, plates and stuff like that here where that we're that we're installing, but reusing the hose and cutting hose and you know modifying clips and you know connectors and stuff like that's um, proven to be beneficial. And now I'm throwing shit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're uh, installing the Yakima Timberline uh, Tower Streamline System. So a little bit of trial and error, but we'll get it. So they've got a pretty good system figured out. You can't really go wrong with the left and right side. Um, the clamps really only go on one way and you'll be able to figure out which, which way. So right now I'm 0 for 4. Struggle bus over here. Bumped the bar after we spent like 10 minutes trying to get it set up. Now we're going to line these guys up and, and strap them down and see how this thing sits on top of the floor runner. 
All right, Gabby, just dropped this off. This is a CVT, the Summit Series rooftop tent. First initial look at this, and it is gonna be something else. So let's get it on the floor and put it together. All right, so we are gonna install the Midland MXT100, it's micro mobile radio um, in the Forerunner here. This little GMRS radio will allow us to work with handheld two ways. Toyota actually has this groove cut in the console here so you can actually close it down without obstructing the latch mechanism of this. Everything feels pretty solid. I actually have this installed in the Tacoma already um, and I've tested it and I'm really happy with it. The range is actually um, acceptable and the clarity is much better than our CB radius. We're putting these Outback Solution drawers in. We're about halfway done. We're getting ready to start drilling, putting the bolts in. On the way here, uh, we had an incident happen. Five days away from putting our bumpers on. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, hit a deer and uh, it's not sitting very well with me right now. The bumper's kind of hanging off. Four primary bolts that hold the system to the Forerunner. And then the drawers are attached to themselves laterally as well. So, you know, I can, I can move the Forerunner with just pushing these drawers around. I feel like they're gonna perform really well. We've got a Blue Ridge Everling gear Forerunner attic in here. So it actually gives us some ability to throw some stuff in there, like coats and jackets and gloves and things like that, miscellaneous stuff that we need to keep off the floor so it's not in our way. We like the look of the bumper on the Tacoma so much that we're actually putting one on the Forerunner as well. However, this particular ARB bumper is not made for this Forerunner, but we enjoy the versatility of it that we're actually gonna make it work here today with Tyler at Haley. Hopefully in a few hours we'll have it on here and it should look pretty good. That's about it. I'd rather it be more up than down because I can put I can cut more off. I can yeah. put more back on. So are we gonna use this? I we get? I guess we're just gonna use the factory holes, but a nut on the back side to hold this bracket up. We're using 50 millimeter masking tape to have our cut lines drawn out. And we've got the other part of the stock bumper on, and once we put this on, we're gonna bolt it and see how it came out. How's it looking? I think it's gonna work. So we're gonna readjust this frame bracket and put this recovery point on. I'm guessing where the hole is. I'm not gonna measure 46 millimeters. Shit. We've got the winch installed in place. Um, we haven't tightened it down yet. Um, I need to drill the straps for the ARB bumper to hold the winch in place too. So we should be able to have the winch rolled and spun um, and spooled on and get the uh, synthetic cable on there and we should be good to go. We're filing down the uh, fairly here for the winch because it doesn't quite fit in the cutout for the ARV bumper. So we're taking the chainsaw, good old steel flat file here and hopefully shaving shim off enough to get it in place. Today will be the first day that I actually haven't broken anything. I've been on a pretty good streak with these builds. Uh, one day I was actually pulling in the garage here, popped the mirror off, uh, hit a couple deer. I've been uh, called bull in a china shop by a few people, but you know, we'll see how it goes. So I think we've got the lights hooked up and um, the only thing we have left is this fuse. We haven't run the wires where we need them yet, but I just want to make sure everything works. So we're going to go plug this in. We've got the first bash plate. This will cover up the oil pan underneath. Got a nice little hole drilled in it for draining. This is the final skid plate on the back of the truck. We think we've got lined up. I don't know what we're going to do here on the sides, but we may rely on the instructions for that. What do you think? Maybe the shot. Maybe. Yeah, skid plates are on, we're tightening her up, and then uh, we're gonna load up the Forerunner on this car rack here, and we're gonna put a CBI rear bumper on. We're measuring the stock bumper. This is kind of like the first step. We put the stock bumper back on here so we can mark our tape line, and we're gonna cut it, and uh, 
We're gonna put the bumper up there, see how everything fits, and maybe make another cut on it or something like that. Kind of fun. Getting busy off love and she red wine. She wrapped me up where I'd only a smile. And we were headed for the border in the sweet sunshine. Some of that.